Welcome to week two of season one here of my Oklahoma Sooners death penalty dynasty. Last week we played Hawaii and lost 80 to three. This week we play Rice who are led by Lincoln Riley. Obviously we're looking to play a little bit better than we played last week. And before we jump into that game, I do want to show you guys that I did set these slider sets back to what they were on the last death penalty dynasty. I just didn't feel like the ones I used in week one against Hawaii really reflected that well. It had nothing to do with the 80 to three score. I just didn't like how how well the CPU played. And I know my team's bad, but there were some aspects that I just, I didn't like the way it was playing. So I went ahead and changed it back to these and uh, hopefully you guys understand. And now we will jump into the game against Rice. So yeah, the last game was pretty rough. Hopefully we can at least move the ball a little bit today. I think I'm still gonna be trying to get used to not having a quarterback that can run it all, but we're gonna see how it goes. All right, it's our home opener. And it is a little weird not seeing this stadium completely packed, but kind of what I expected here. And we're going to start with a read option as Winston will get two. All right, second and eight. Let's see if we can get going through the air. And that man's slightly open, and he's got the first down. That is Nick Brooks for a 10-yard gain. First and 10. Going to try another option play. And they're going to read the quarterback, so I will give it to Nick Campbell up the middle, and he's got, or it's Kyle Campbell, sorry about that, 10-yard gain. I just got to play a little smarter than I did last week. Second and inches. See what we can do. And yeah, we're just going to take this easy first down. Trevor Winston still running inside the 30 and finally pushed out of bounds after a 23 yard gain. And look, we get that. Or look at that. We got a trophy. All right, first and 10 in shotgun. See where we can go with this. We're going to go right there to Dominique Cook. And he's got the catch inside the 10, a 13 yard gain. All right, from inside the 10, moving the ball really well this drive. We're going to try another option play. It's about the only way we can run the ball, and we aren't going to get anything there. And Winston's hurt again. All right, so Corbett comes in at QB on second and goal. And we're going to take a quick slant right over the middle, caught by Brooks, and down inside the five. And Winston watched Corbett throw one pass, and then has decided he's coming back in. So third and goal. And yes, I'm running slants again. And going to the end zone, and that is caught by Dominique Cook. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And that was about as perfect of a drive as we could have. And there it shows Lincoln Riley getting to coach his first game here at Rice. Let's see how Rice is going to operate their offense. First and 10. McMahon will hand off to Griffin up the middle, and Griffin will break a tackle, get the first down, still going, and finally brought down after a 12 yard gain. That mascot is terrifying. Take the snap, and he's going to be under pressure, but breaks away from the sack, and he's going to take off and get the first down. Had a chance to get him in the backfield. All right, after that, first and 10. And McMahon hand off to Griffin. Griffin got good blocking and a first down. And he'll take the snap. He's got a man open that I see immediately, but he's under pressure and sacked on the play. I think that's Jerry Richardson with his third sack on the year. I saw his underneath route get open. I saw that underneath route get open pretty early, so I figured that's where he was going. He just never actually released it. Second and 20, and he'll find Bradley for a gain of about 13. Come on, someone make a play. Someone make a play. McMahon, all the time in the world to throw to the outside, caught by Bradley, who runs over a man and gets the first down, still going, and brought down after a 17-yard gain. Second and goal, McMahon in shotgun, Griffin in the backfield still. And he'll take the snap to the outside. Got a man wide open. Touchdown, Rice. Okay, third and two. Let's see if we can keep this drive going. Snap. And to the outside to Dominique Cook. That is caught. And down near the 50. 15-yard gain. Second and 10. And it's going to be another read option play. And no blocking for either option there. That's what's going to kill the offensive drives whenever I get no blocking whatsoever. So here on third and 13, we're going to need to throw the ball downfield a bit. And we're going to lob that up to the tight end, and no one will come down with it. And it looks like Charles Parker, our starting middle linebacker, is out for the rest of the game with a mild concussion. I didn't even see him get hurt. First and 10. Sends Griffin in motion. Hand off to Brizard up the middle. And he's got the first down for a gain of 12. Second and five. McMahon in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and it's a read option. Keep it himself, and he's got the first down, and a lot more here across the 50. Breaks the tackle, still going across the 35, and finally tripped up. So after the big run from the quarterback, it's now first and 10 yet again for Rice. And he will take the snap. Once again, roll it to the right side, and no one's there to block that at all. He's got the first down and slides down inside the 15-yard line. Third and five for Rice. 
And the Sooners defense finally get off the field or at least hold them to a field goal. Man, wide open. Touchdown, Knight. All right, end of the first quarter. At least we finally got a touchdown, which we did not do against Hawaii. Third and nine for the Sooners offense. Trying to keep the drive alive here. And he'll go over the middle. That is dropped by Nick Brooks. I understand it wasn't coverage, but he's got to come down with that. All right, second and ten. McMahon in shotgun. He will take the snap, and it's a read option. He'll keep it himself, and he breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle, but has the first down before getting brought down after a gain of 12. He will take the snap, and to the outside, got a man wide open, breaks a tackle, and brought down after a 13-yard gain. And he will run another read option, pitch it out to the outside to Griffin. Griffin has the first down before getting tackled by Franz, an eight-yard gain on the play. All right, I've jinxed it the last couple times I said it, but now it is third and 12. Let's see if the Sooners defense can finally hold him to at least a field goal. McMahon takes the snap to the outside, caught by Bailey, and immediately brought down. So that will be fourth and seven. Third and six, and once again, we are going to be running some slant routes to try to get a first down. And snap, go to Brooks, and knocked away. Probably not my best read, but kind of had to get rid of it quick. All right, first and 10 for Rice. Five minutes to go in the first half. McMahon in shotgun, and it'll be a handoff to Griffin. Perfect blocking for him as we cannot get any sort of block shedding going. 15-yard game. Second and six, McMahon in shotgun. It'll be a handoff to Griffin again up the middle. This time he breaks the tackle, gets the first down, and then runs by everyone else. Touchdown, Rice, 24 to seven. Okay, third and 10. Gotta get something going here on offense. Snap and throw that to the tight end. And he makes the catch, first down Oklahoma. I think I had a nice voice crack at the end of that play. First and 10, give it to the running back. Kyle Campbell up the middle, and he will have a seven yard game. Okay, second and three. Snap and throw that out route. That's not an out route, it's a comeback, but either way, first down. Don't know why I said out route, that was definitely a comeback route, but here on second and three, trying to find somebody open, just dump it off to the running back and get the first down, Kyle Campbell. All right, third and eight. Trying to put more points on the board before halftime. And roll it to your right side. Just throw that on the run, and no one's there. Going to attempt a 36-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it is good. Really kind of scared there for a second. Now Rice with a third and eight with about a minute and a half to go in the half. McMahon, and he's looking to go downfield, and that is dropped by Griffin. That would have been an easy first down. All right, we got a minute 17 to try to get some points before halftime. First play, we're going to go to the outside here and incomplete. Third and 10, a minute and 10 seconds to go in the half here. And we're going to force this to the outside. That is intercepted. I tried to force that to Brooks and obviously backfired. Now third and nine, McMahon will take the snap and go to the end zone. That is intercepted by Franz. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can have any chance to return this back. All right, brought down to the 15. Obviously, at the 20 would have been a little bit better of an advantage, but Ryan Franz comes away with his first pick on the year. We now have 39 seconds to try to score before halftime. And quick pass out to Dominique Cook, and I try to make a man miss, but 13-yard gain is fine enough. All right, second and 10. Winston in shotgun will take the snap, and we're going to try to force this deep to Dominique Cook, and he hits him down at the 40. All right, now first and 10 from about the 40-yard line. 26 seconds to go, and try to force that to the outside. Okay, not the button I pressed, but I'll take that. 22 seconds to go in the half. Winston from under center, and oh my god, the entire defense just hit me? I want to take a look at this. Ball is snapped, play action, and just every lineman gets beat. They rush five, and I think all five managed to make a hit on Winston here. All right, second and 10, 19 seconds to go. And go over the middle, that is caught by Cook, and he's got the first down, let's run no huddle. All right, 12 seconds to go in the half. Snap, roll to the outside, throw, and caught by Brooks, touchdown Oklahoma, but there is a flag. Really? Okay, so they called PI on Sam Davis, number 82 here, and I think it's because this is originally a bubble screen to the receiver but I audibled it to a slant route, so whenever the ball snapped, he immediately starts blocking, and then they, for some reason, call that P.I., so. All right, so now we're back at the 15-yard line. 
See if we can get anything from here. And throw that to the tight end. That's caught and into the end zone. Touchdown, OU. Okay, so at halftime, this is obviously closer than it was last week. Our offense has actually scored a couple touchdowns, and we're still in this. Okay, first and ten. Defense, you try to get off the field here because our offense is actually within one score. And the first play is a completed pass to Bradley and into Oklahoma territory, 25 yards. Third and four for Rice. McMahon going to send a man in motion. Please get off the field here, defense. Someone make a play. And he's going to run for it and get the first down gain of six. Second and nine. McMahon over the middle, caught by Mason. He's got the first down, brought down after a gain of 16. First and 10 from inside the 20-yard line. McMahon under pressure, goes over the middle again, caught by Bailey, first down inside the five. Okay, first and goal for OU. I'm sorry, first and goal for Rice. And McMahon's going to take off and touch down Rice. Third and three for Oklahoma. Let's see if we can get anything. And, yep, just try to take off and get the first down. Winston slide. First down, OU. All right, first and ten. Snap and quick slant route to Davis. First down. All right, third and ten for OU. Trying to keep this drive alive again. And roll it to the right side and sack on the play. I didn't see anyone ever come open. All right, first and ten. McMahon in shotgun. Got Griffin in the backfield again. And I need to get off the D-line. Screw it. We'll just control this play. And caught by Mason on the outside. Another first down. All right, second and ten. And it's an option play. And he'll toss it to the outside to Griffin. And Griffin will break one tackle. And now there's only one man left to beat. And he's able to get him down at the 15. 21-yard gain. All right, second and two. The man takes a snap. Hands off to Brazard to the outside. And he's into the end zone after dodging a few Sooners. Touchdown, Rice. All right, 3.02 to go in the third. Down by three touchdowns. Let's see if OU's offense can finally come back alive. And we're going to go downfield. He's got a man open. That's Davis and a first down. All right, it's going to be pretty risky here running a play action, but we're going to try it anyway on first and 10. Under pressure and sacked. All right, third and 18. Going to do another play action just because that's the last thing I can audible to. And sacked on the play. I just have no time on play actions. On that, it was kind of a cluster because I wanted to audible to a deep pass, and whenever I tried to, it audible to a screen. So that's why, you know, it was kind of pressed for time there. Should have burned a timeout, but what's done is done as they're going to run this all the way back, break a tackle, break another tackle down the sideline, and finally force that about, or force down 37 yard game. Okay, first and 10 for Rice. And McMahon goes to the outside. Got a man wide open. That's Bailey and brought down at the five-yard line. And a read option. Run to the outside, and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice, 45-17. to 17. Third and 15. Let's see if we can keep this drive going. Go over the middle and just miss your dude completely, I guess. It is rough trying to run this offense when even when guys are open, your quarterback won't always be, you know, anywhere close to his receiver. Like, Davis had no chance whatsoever to make a play on that ball. 45-17, seven and a half minutes to go in the game. Let's see if Rice starts to just try to chew some clock down. And it's going to be a pass, and that's a fumble. And recovered by Oklahoma. I don't know what the hell that play was from Rice, but I will take the turnover. Third and five. And we're going to take this and go over the middle. That's caught by Davis. And make a man miss down inside the five-yard line. I was actually able to kind of juke someone out there. It was nice. All right, what are the odds we're going to be able to power this into the end zone with the running back? Uh, zero. That, that's what that is. Second and goal. And read option kept by Winston, and he gets stood up. Third and goal from about the three-yard line. Take the snap out of shotgun. Go to the end zone and miss your dude. Really? He had Dominique Cook open, but threw behind him. All right, fourth and goal. We are going for it. Winston with the snap and sacked on the play. Third and 12 for Rice. See if this OU defense can force a punt. Big man takes the snap and goes to Griffin immediately brought down, so we will be able to force a punt. 
Well, it looks like on the sack, Winston was hurt, so Corbett comes in to finish this game. And he will roll out to the right side. Stop to set his feet, make a throw down field. That's caught by Sam Davis. And Davis inside the 20 and brought down inside the 15-yard line. Second and 10 for Corbett in the offense. And that's a throw over the middle and intercepted. I tried to force that end of the slant route. And it, yeah, obviously didn't work. And McMahon going to keep it himself on a read option here at the end of the game and just take it to the house to uh, put them at 52 points. Second and 10. He's going to get the throw up, but that's going to be intercepted. I was just trying to stat pad. And, yeah, that's how this game ends. Okay, so I tried to stat pad, and then they came back and just ran in another 31-yard touchdown. I even missed I missed the tackle on that. I don't know what the hell happened. Okay, so what should have been 45-17 to ends 59-17 to because they just had two QB runs go all the way to the end zone. Obviously, I missed the tackle on that last one, so it's mostly my bad, but, you know, it's still an absolute beating of a game. So offensively, this was probably, honestly, our best game. Uh, Winston goes 18 of 36, 235, and two touchdowns. Not great, but it's better than what we did last week. Corbett goes 4 of 8 for 76 yards and two interceptions. Rushing-wise, the only way I'm really able to run the ball is with read options. So Winston has 17 carries for 14 yards, a long of 23, and Kyle Campbell has 6 carries for 12 yards. Receiving-wise, Dominique Cook had one hell of a day. Seven catches, 115, and a touchdown, and Sam Davis had 6 for 110. And then Eric Cook also caught a touchdown. On Rice's side of the ball, their quarterback went 17 of 22 for two touchdowns of 168 yards. Rushing-wise, yeah. Uh, Kalen Griffin, 18 carries, 158 and a touchdown. TJ McMahon, 14 for 184 and four touchdowns. Also, coming off of his best game, Trevor Winston broke his ribs and will be out for at least the next three weeks. So quarterback Ryan Corbett will step in. So our next game will be against the rival Nebraska Cornhuskers. They are looking for their first win of the season. We are on a backup quarterback now. Should be interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week, and I will talk to you guys for the next game.